so I'm on my way to get my hair, not my hair, my hair has been done, does not need to be redone. I'm on my way to get my nails done. I'm very excited. I'm getting mushrooms for my nails. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram to either do mushrooms or sh seashells. I really wanted seashells. Apparently, I'm alone in that. I'm just kidding. I wasn't alone in that. It's just that, like, seashells did not win. But I am going to do seashells because I found, like, an inspo that I really liked. And, yeah. I think it will be fun. I came early because Denver is kind of crazy today. There's, like, a game going on. And so... I'm not really into sports, so I never really know what's happening. I never really know what's happening with like sports. My grandma's really into sports. All of my friends are into sports, and all of my friends love my grandma. I don't even think they love me at this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they do, they do. They do like me. I have to hold on to that truth. Anyways, it's crazy town, and so I was like, I'm gonna come early because traffic's gonna be crazy. Traffic was crazy but I still came a little bit early and I was like, you know, I'm gonna go to Starbucks, like right by my nail place. That location, ooh, the road is getting updated. Good for them. Right after I, ooh, great parking. Also, mushrooms won. Okay, let's go in. Uh, you like it? That looks like insane. Just finished with the nail appointment. The inspo, which I'll show y'all, were mushrooms. And so one of the mushrooms that we did was from this photo, which is on this hand. And then the next one is this like orange red one right here with the white. And that is what this one looks like. So, nice little inspo, but now I'm back heading home. And I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so, you saw me get my nails done. Inspired by those mushrooms, which, like... I really liked these yesterday and I still love them, but they were like my favorite just because like the color combo, but like now that I look at these, I'm like, these are sick too. And also like when a nail tech compliments you on your nails and says like, you always have such cool nails is like, try not to let it get to my head though, but it was nice to hear to be like, okay, awesome, cool. I can trust my style, you know? But yeah, tomorrow, is going to be a day that I will take y'all on with me since I thought might as well do like another day in the life vlog. I'm going to go to a coffee shop. I'm trying to see like what I have on tomorrow, which I think is nothing. This this is like the first weekend that I don't have anything going on, which is nice. I plan on going to a coffee shop to get some work done. And I also plan on getting some oxtail as well as some donuts. With this past month being like really crazy and all over the place, like my apartment has been a mess. Like it's not like terrible, terrible, but like I'm not doing dishes immediately. My clothes are not being put away immediately. Like, like that type of thing. I just have not, like I wake up and I just go to my computer and go. 
Whereas this past week, I've not done that. And I'm like getting out of that groove of like waking up, having a morning routine, like doing breath work, meditation, gratefulness, like, you know, gratitude work, journaling and stuff like that. Like I'm building that morning routine, but before I wasn't doing that because I would wake up at seven o'clock and then immediately just work. And that was because I didn't have a good boundary with work, but now I am developing good boundaries with work. So that's making me like really happy and um, feel really good. So because of that, I'm realized like I looked around my apartment and I'm like, Ugh. I need to get a few things in order. So I need to go to Target, pick up my items. I realized there was one thing that I didn't buy, and that was candles. Um, but I have incense, and so I think I'm just going to start doing that. But that's the hard thing about incense and being in an apartment is that, like, you get smoke on the walls. And which is why I don't like burning my incense. Whereas, like, if it was my own house, like, it's not, like, a big deal. You know what I mean? This morning, I went to the leasing office to negotiate my renewal because I've been dealing with some maintenance issues in my apartment. And I'm like, I just, personally, I don't really want to move. I like my apartment. I don't really have like a ton of issues. It's just some of the maintenance stuff is like a little bit of an ordeal. And they didn't raise my rent like that much, but I'm also just like, I, would prefer to keep it the same like that would be really nice if I can just keep it the same so they're gonna get back to me on Monday and let me know uh, if that is possible they didn't raise it by much so it's like it's not too bad but also it would be preferred to not have my rent raised at all so that's what I went and did um, this morning. Um, it's still morning because it's about to be 10.30. I'm headed to get myself some oxtail, some plantain, some rice with some empanadas. Um, my grandma was recently home and I call a lot of places home but like she was recently in Panama and she was telling me how she was eating like really good food and all this other stuff and I'm just like, <laughs> it made me so jealous and I was like, I need to go back to this place. I try not to go often because the food is so good that I would go broke every day just eating it. I, I think I've shown you all this place before. The food is really good. Like, I really like it. It's so delicious. Um, I always order it to go, so I end up having to like warm it up even more in my microwave before eating it, but it's still like very, very good. Um, this morning, I decided not to go to the coffee shop just yet. I'm gonna go later and get work done, work done in the afternoon just because I wanted to go to the leasing office like as soon as they opened and didn't want to be in the leasing office like if, when it was busy. I don't really know if the leasing office is busy because I'm not one of those people who's like always in there, you know? I'm not like that kind of tenant who's like, let's go to all the community things. I'm very much like, I'm gonna do my own thing or I'm not gonna join because <laughs> I'm such a homebody. I'm such an introvert. But anyways, this morning I'm gonna watch Princess Mononoke. I've never seen it. I'm My goal this year is to watch all of the Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli, uh, movies and so that is what I'm doing because I have access to max HBO max um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do this morning just secured the goods oh my gosh the oxtail is like that big each oh it's so good it's so good it's so good um, I got oxtail rice plantain and two beef empanadas now I'm gonna head to um, a place near H Mart. It's called Mr. Bakery. They have these blueberry cookies that I just like freaking love. But I also wanna try this place called Parlor. 
donuts. Yeah, I think I might do that. I'll go to parlor. Because it's right in this area, I think. <laughs> shop because I slept on this couch for four hours it was glorious and exactly what I needed um so yeah I'm gonna go to a coffee shop tomorrow I'm currently watching record of Ragnarok on Netflix it's been on my list for a while but um yeah the reason why I was so tired and slept for four hours was last night early into the morning I deep cleaned my apartment and then this morning, woke up, washed my hair, started doing laundry, and then obviously like had that conversation at the leasing office. And then after that, like went and got my oxtail, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have this, like for my morning. And then, like, I was like, oh, I, I'm planning on leaving at like one o'clock to go to a coffee shop, and like get work done. At like 11.45, I started feeling sleepy and I was like, okay, I'm going to just turn off the TV and like just take a quick little nap. Didn't put a timer on because I was like, it's Saturday, it's fine. I, for the first like 30 minutes, like kind of struggled to fall asleep and then finally like fall asleep. Wake up and it's like 5.30 and I was like, oh, guess I'm not going to that coffee shop today. And, um, yeah, the day escaped me, <laughs> which is fine. It's exactly what I needed. So anyways, I'm going to go to a coffee shop tomorrow um, on Sunday. Uh, first, I'm going to go to church and then I'm going to go to a coffee shop. And then this Monday is actually a very chill day for me as well. Like I have no client meetings on Monday, which is so nice. Um, I try not to have any client meetings on Fridays. I've set up my like calendar to where like you cannot set a meeting request with me on a Friday because I need time to build. I need time to like create an app. And I feel like when there's just days of like, I have meetings and stuff like that. I just feel like I'm not as productive. Anyways, so Sunday and Monday, I'm going to use to kind of catch up on work. Um, and like work, meaning like for work work, as well as like my personal work, <laughs> like editing videos and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, my camera is like getting overheated. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. We'll see each other tomorrow.